96.3 WHUR sounds like Washington, and this man been sounding like Washington <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this is White Boy from Her Essence. How you doing, bro? Hey, hey, how you doing? Good man? to see you, man. All right, thank you for inviting me. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Now, uh, now, a little bird told me that some new music is coming from Her Essence, man. Absolutely. We're in the studio right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we are maybe six songs in. Okay. So. Um, and we have some interesting collaborations on this uh, okay. on the new LP. From the city or outside the city? From both. It's from inside the city and mm -hmm. outside the city. So how does that happen? People reach out to you and be like, look, man. Actually, they do. We reach out to some mm -hmm. folks and some people reach out to us and mm -hmm. say, hey, if you have something, we would love to collaborate with you. That's what happened on two of these songs here. Okay. From outside, some people from outside the city say, yo, We'd love to be able to do something with you. And we were like, yes, we have something. Okay, so I heard, actually I saw a video. Let's run this video right now. When you saw it, what went through your mind? She does. I was like, whoa, that is in cheese. Did you call your attorney? No. No, <laughs> no. no. we actually, um, her manager actually called us mm -hmm. and told us that she was performing that song. Mm -hmm. So we were like, yeah. And he, they sent us a video. We was like, whoa. And the crowd was like. They loved it. Woo! They loved it. Yes. Fantasia does a great job. Shout out to Fantasia. Thank you. We appreciate that. No doubt. Yeah. Now. How does it feel when you see artists like Fantasia or Jill Scott or or Kirk Franklin or some? Yeah. You got Ty Tribbett. You got other yeah, individuals. Yeah, absolutely. Gravitating to our sound. It, it's 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 overwhelming, you know, to know that people really appreciate the sound of the city. Mm -hmm. You know, and they appreciate it so much that they want to use it. Right. You know, plus that the uh, go-go is, is infectious anyway. So when you in the go-go, ain't no way that you could just stand there. Right. You know, you're going to get caught up in the atmosphere and, uh, and the music is going to make you move. So mm -hmm. when they put their twist on it, that, that you know, that makes it even better. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. I saw a video on YouTube. Let's run this video right now. <laughs> Somewhere in Maine wasn't a black person in the crowd. Right. It's some kind of festival that goes on yeah. up there, mm -hmm. and the crowd was totally white. They did their set. Then people would not let them leave the stage. Absolutely. That was in Bangor, Maine. Now, did you see the old lady during the rough at all? Yes. <laughs> How did these people know about Go Go way up there? You know, um, the music travels. Mm. It travels. And, Maine, uh, that's like the, you can't go no higher than Maine, bro. Up there. Yeah, it's way up there. And and like I said, the music is infectious. So you're going to get involved in the music. Well, I mean, it's just getting caught up in the atmosphere, the, 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 the heaviness of it, the percussion, and the fact that it's, uh, 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 a community crowd thing. You know, we embrace, we have the audience to be a part of the show. It's like a call and response right, and talking back and forth with them. Yeah, and that yeah. is African principle, by the way, as absolutely, well. Absolutely, absolutely. So we involve the audience in the show. That's that's the way it's always been. We involve the audience in, so they're as much a part of the show as the band is. Mm -hmm. So what's like one of the wildest things you've ever experienced, kind of like the moment that happened up in Bangor when you were out somewhere out, outside of D.C. in you had that kind of reaction. You know, when we were, when we did, it's been a few, quite a few, but what, what comes to mind right now is when we did the uh, South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. That was uh, last year. Yeah, yeah, that, that was the second time. We did it twice. We okay. did it uh, two, three years ago, and then we did it again last year. Mm -hmm. uh, but last year when we came out, 
and um, that was a mixed crowd, mm -hmm. but only a small percentage of people had heard of Go-Go, and even smaller percentage than that had heard of Red Essence. Mm -hmm. So when we came out, they, were re they really got into it. And uh, when we travel a lot, we take DJ Cool with us, right? Because Cool, he's nationally um, known, world nationally now. known, but Cool on the stage, Cool has so much energy. He just, you can't help but get wrapped up in the, in the what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So um, we were performing, and then Wale came through at the very last oh, minute. Oh my God! Oh, oh that turned into something and, totally different. And, and it just took off from there. It just really took off. So everybody in there, uh, uh, the, and the place was sold out. Everybody in there was partying to go go. So that lets us know, all right, this just ain't just an East Coast thing or DJ. Right. Everybody can enjoy this music. Right. So that that was uh, that's what sticks out to me right now. All right, man. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, Easy. We appreciate you. All right. Yes, sir. White boy, Red S is a uh, wickedest band alive. Uh, give them the Instagram and Twitter and all that. Uh, the, the Facebook is uh, R E. I mean, Red Essence Band. Uh, Twitter and Instagram, R.E. Wickedest Band. There it is. Yeah. Man, if you ain't heard this music right here, yeah. boy, you better get it in your life.